Hello, my fellow nerds, and welcome to the first 30. Honey, I'm home. It, it's here? Are you kidding? Oh, okay, I'll see you in three days. Oh, man, I have been waiting for this game. If you thought Gears of War was anticipated, you have no idea how excited I am. It has been six years since the last Final Fantasy came out. Well, unless you count Final Fantasy Lightning Returns, which makes it only two years. But that's not the point. And of course, unless you count the MMOs, which constantly have updates. But that's not the point. The point is, Final Fantasy XV, go! Oh, Square Enix, do you know how to make an RPG? I am such a mark for this game, you have no idea. Sometimes, it's just best to sit and listen. Developed and published by Square Enix. Final Fantasy XV was released worldwide on November 29th of 2016. Final Fantasy XV is technically considered an action role-playing game and was released on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. And I don't think I need to explain that if you have never heard of Final Fantasy, you need to crawl out from whichever rock you're under and pick up a controller. There have been more Final Fantasy games in existence than any other franchise ever. There have been more games than years I have been alive. There have been more tears than breaths we've taken. This series doesn't make games. It makes gamers. Well, let's get started. Select a difficulty level. Easy mode reduces the challenge of combat and provides help in a pinch. Let's just go with normal. The tutorial offers an interactive explanation about the story and combat system of Final Fantasy XV. I think I'm gonna go with the tutorial. These combats are a little more complicated than the standard turn base, so let's see what this has to offer. Ooh, a carbuncle. Oh, he's so cute, it hurts. Well, I did say I was gonna do the tutorial. However, the tutorial itself is about 45 minutes long and I'd actually like to get some gameplay. But don't worry, it's not gonna be the entire thing. So I'm gonna go through this as quick as possible and basically show you the best parts. Welcome to the old training room. Combat tutorial, lore guide. Let's go with the combat. Gladios, huh? Alright. Haha, I win! Harry! I win again! Haha. That concludes the tutorial. Let's go to the next one. Gladios again? Haha, I can dodge! I can hang from stuff. And I can hide behind stuff. I win again! Next tutorial! Haha, I can dodge! I can throw fire! I can throw fire! I can get burned too! I can throw fire again! Next tutorial! You wrecked? Hey look, a buddy! We're gonna fight together! I got hurt! Hey, you do something! I'm almost dying! Hey, help me! I'll help you! Here's a potion! And... Harry! I win! Haha! <laughs> and that's the tutorial! Final Fantasy XV In a time unknown only a prophecy keeps hope alive in people's hearts. When darkness veils the world, the King of Light shall come. 
Now, four brave warriors begin their journey, prepared to fight. What awaits the four, however, they do not know. The tale of the chosen king, savior to the stars. That doesn't look like the main character. Who's that? Noctis, Lucius, Caleb. Okay, move and look around. All right. Jump, that's good. We're gonna jump over this fire. Yeah, there we go. Uh, where do I go? What do I do? I'm over here. Oh! Hang in there, buddy. Stay down. We'll keep them busy. Dude, is that Ifrit chilling in the background? He looks like a bad mother. I'm just talking about Ifrit. That gun just went through my back, but okay. Alright, let's do this. Okay. Flashback? Flash forward? before the fall. So I guess that means that was a flash forward or we're now flashing back for the story. I feel like there's a titan around the corner. God, that looks beautiful. The decreed hour is come. Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. Thank you, your majesty. Take your leave and go in the grace of the gods. Is this in-game graphics? Right. Or is this cutscene still? I mean, one day, they're gonna be one and the same. I am so glad they pushed this game back to ensure that this looked as good as it does. Well, princes will be princes. So much for royal protocol. Not like you had to deliver a formal address. Your Highness! We all have to wear black, that's our thing. By we, I mean literally everyone. What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. It's just a road trip, Dad. I ask not that you guide my wayward son. Merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but of course got the motor running. Yeah, gas isn't free, you Dados, know. Dados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride to be. Bow chick, bow wow. Your Majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. Niflheim? You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth. You cannot turn back. You think I would? Do you mean we're not in Ivalice anymore? I need only know that you are ready to leave <gasps> home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. Does that mean we're in seven territory? Are we finally out of Ivalice? God, I always hated the lore between judges and card systems, and please let this be in the Final Fantasy VII universe. That would be amazing. Chapter 1, Departure. Prince Noctis Lucius Calum set forth from his homeland with his three-man retinue in tow. His destination, Altissia, capital of... Accordo, where he will formalize the Union of States through his marriage to Lady Luna Freya of the Imperial Province of Tenebrae. Retinue? What is that? Let's see. Ah, a group of advisors, assistants, or others accompanying an important person. Ah, it's a road trip game. That's me, driving along. And there's some people on the road, that's okay. Oh. Well, that's not me. I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. Dude, look at you. You're just gonna have to push her all the way. Would you pick up a hitchhiker that looked like you? To the brink of death. 
<laughs> Dude, you're laying on the asphalt. You know how hot that's gotta be? Come on, car isn't gonna move itself. Jeez. Uh, uh, I thought the car was supposed to move us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can it? Ready? Steady? Really? Push! Well, I guess surprises come in all shapes and sizes. The song Stand By Me plays here, however, I get copyright when I upload it. So I hope you enjoy whatever I decide to insert here instead. And don't mind the weird audio, because I had to mute every time they're not talking. You know, I'm the prince. Shouldn't I be driving and you be pushing? Ugh, what's going on? Ugh. Unbelievable. Not exactly a fairy tale beginning, huh, Prince Noctis? We let ourselves get carried away. Look! These things happen. Let's just hope this isn't some omen. Gladio, do me a favor. What? Push this thing by yourself. All by myself? You won't even notice if we just let go. Pronto! Don't even think about it! Save some breath for pushing. Ignis, come on, time to switch. No, -uh. we just switched back there. And it's my turn. Ah, Hammerhead Outpost. Poor Sheila, she's taken so much dirt. Eh, we could probably fix that. Alright, and who is hey this? Hey there, y'all kept a girl waiting. Oh. Now, which one's the prince? Oh, what is your name? Aha! Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not Hitch just yet. Huh. Lady Luna Freya's groom to be here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Paw Paw. Paw Paw. Well, that makes you. Cindy. Cindy. Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Oh, you missed it. Roll her in while it should I'm be still Sydney. <sighs> Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat up old clunker. Opportunity missed. It should be Sydney. Oh, Sid, what happened to you, man? Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack choice getting you nowhere fast. Dude, is this an Aston Martin? I can't tell that symbol looks like... She's gonna take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. We'll just go out in the desert and play with the animals. <sighs> Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. I will go anywhere you want me to. Now we play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. Never any good at it either. I always lose. Alright, well, I think this is the first time I get to actually do anything, so... Alright, move. Perfect. Hey, I can talk to Cindy. Y'all ain't never been out this way before, have you? Go on, have a look around. This'll make sure y'all don't get lost. Yeah, I'm having a good look myself. World map obtained. Visit the local tipster to gather information. Well, might as well make good use of the extra time. What the hell is a tipster? Alright, well, let's go over here. Let's follow that Whoa. Zell wannabe. They got Ebony out here. Oh, Ignis is gonna flip. Wait, uh, what's a gill? He doesn't know what gill is. Oh my god. Junon Super Engine Fuel. Power up your You've performance. got everything here. And a magazine. Monster mutation? Dangerous dual horns. Something strange is happening to the beasts. Any noteworthy news? 
apparently this is a shop. Let's see what you have for sale. Earn gill by completing hunts or by selling trinkets you find. Uh, I have no gill, so... I'm not gonna sell anything. I'm just gonna get out of here. A moment, knocked. We've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. I suggest we confer with Cindy. Oh, I get to talk to Cindy broke again, alright. And <laughs> flat broke. Adding insult Can't to move. injury. And a map. I don't know why I'm looking at a map, but Prince Noctis and his royal retinue set out to set sail for the neighboring land of Accordo, where the prince is to wed his betrothed, having channeled all of their funds into repairs for the regalia. However, the four friends must now find a way to earn some gill, the currency of choice outside. They come from a place called Insomnia. Old man's in for both after charging us that much. Yeah, let's pay him a visit. Haha, <laughs> I can't wait to talk to Cindy again. She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? <laughs> There's a lot you could do for me, Cindy. Uh, ask for a discount. Ask for a loan. Ask my friends. Uh, let's ask for a loan. Hate to ask, but could we borrow some cash? Oh, now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was gonna teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? Sounds good. All according to Sid's plan. I say we play along and teach him not to underestimate us. Earned 10 AP. Spend ability points AP to power up Noctis and his friends. Acquire new abilities on the Astrolosphere from the Ascension menu. Alright, let's take a look at this. Use ability points AP to activate nodes on the Astrolosphere and acquire new abilities to aid you on your journey. Earn AP by leveling up, completing quests, and strategic ops or by impressing your friends in conversation. Um, okay, let's see. Airstep. Blink, phase through enemies attack without using MP. Ooh, nope, I can't get that one. Boost damage dealt when unscathed. Reduces MP, but I want that one. All right, Chain Fury it is. Yes, I will purchase. Trophy urn. But don't go running around after dark. The demons are liable to rip y'all to shreds. Demons? I'm not afraid of no demons. This ought to be enough for a place to stay. Just between us, though. Don't tell Papa. Devo, buddy, I get why you like Fang, and you're gonna love Cindy. Oh, I can't wait to see your reaction. Wow, they got a lot of different stuff here, huh? That's how it works. Alright, 200 some feet till we kill some monsters. Alright, let's see. I think I'll go in Looks with like the standard sword. Ready knocked. The threat meter displays when an enemy detects your presence. And go! Warp Strike! Conjure weapons to attack. Hold circle to blitz the enemy with consecutive attacks. Change weapons on the fly and adapt to the flow of combat. I got you. Come on. Switch. Oh. Blindsided. Oh. Okay. Most damage with the big guy. Easy enough. Oh, man. That looks like it hurt. What's the idea? Oh. There we go. Remember? Oh. All right. One out of three down. Shake it out, buddy. On we go. Next one. Well, at least it tells me exactly where I need to go. 600 feet to go. So, uh, any of you guys know any good songs? Like, uh, there's that Stand By Me song that was playing. That, that could work. No? What about, uh, some sea shanties? You know, we're, we're seamen, aren't we? We're not seamen? Okay. Uh, what about a joke? Anybody have any good jokes? I mean, I've got one if if anybody wants to hear it. Um, okay, so this is the joke. Ready? 
Now, now, don't interrupt me because if I mess up, I'll have to start over. Okay, how do you tickle an octopus? No, that's them. not it. Hang Let's on. Do this. How do you. Never mind. Press square to roll dodge and deftly evade enemy attacks. Hold square to defend against oncoming attacks. Alright, come on. Big guy. Oh, yeah. Big damage. He's down. Oh! How is that scorpion not dead after a hit like that? It's, it's got an exoskeleton. It shouldn't be that hard to kill. It should not be that hard to cleave. One more. No, two more, maybe. I don't know. They keep appearing. Oh, one more. There we go. Alright, let's get back to the big guy. I love that warp strike. Don't wear yourself out like that. Okay. Take cover and Barely I'm tired. Alright. When Noctis runs out of MP, he enters stasis. He cannot phase or blade warp until he recovers. Take cover or point warp, possible even in stasis, to high ground to recover MP. Alright, let's go All over right. here to this big rock no and squat. Let's get on with it. I'm healing, calm down. Do you see my MP going up? So, uh, where are we headed anyway? Uh, we well, well, are headed 600 done, feet that way to key. kill some more scorpions. And after that, we hop a boat, and before you know it, lover boy's hitched. Wait for car repairs, then wedding bells in the air. <laughs> Got it. I think I want to get to know Cindy better. I don't know about you guys. Okay, back to that joke I was talking about. How many times do you have to tickle an octopus to make it laugh? Anybody? Ten tickles. <laughs> oh, I'm hilarious. <sighs> oh, wait, we got some more scorpions here. All right. And go! Noctis can instantaneously warp strike a targeted enemy at a cost of MP. The farther Noctis's blade warps, the more damage his attack deals. Oh, oh! That was a teleport strike for you. Some over there, and go! More warp strikes. Warp strikes are the best. Warp strike for days. Almost one more. I'm on stasis now. Alright, gun. Oh! Nice one. What am I doing in the meantime? Just standing there? Block. Nope, missed the block. Block again! No! Missed the block again! That's it. You're gonna die. A lot. One more. There we go. Perfect. Oh! And down. Nice. Mission complete. Alright. Perfect. Uh, oh, sorry. Hang on. I got a phone call. Mushy mushy! Hey, it's Cindy. How goes the hunt? Hey, Cindy. Actually, we just finished. It's pretty good. That's great. Cause I got one more hunt for y'all. I will do Only anything you want me to. It's for a person. Fella named Dave went off, and we ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old ex-boyfriend, huh? All right. Uh, oh, got it. We'll take a look. And we're not too far from there. Why not? I suppose I could spare a couple minutes. So, what did Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing. Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. Ex-boyfriend, you know, gotta take him out. If I'm gonna take Cindy on as a concubine, I can't have any interference. Ah, the rhythmic sound of footsteps. I could listen to it for days. I don't think he's in here, but I still have to walk over here. What's this? Looks like some paper that is stuck to the table. Mutant dual horn sighting. Codename Bloodhorn. Characteristics, red tusks, extremely violent. Outstanding bounty on saber tusks in the area. Get out of here! Ah. Oh, good shot. You okay? Come on. We are now. Spoke too soon. Remember, just as scared of us. Man, this is some weird take on a wolf. No, get off me! Ow, oh, get off! Thank you. Ah, oh, God. Thank you. There we go. Oh. I hope those aren't explosive barrels. Oh. Saber tusk claws. Apparently, that's a saber tusk. Ooh, one more. I don't know how they have a level, and I don't know how I know it, but oh, there we go. One saber tusk down. What can I say? 
shack over there. That was good. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> Apparently, there's a shack over there. Everybody say hi to Shaquille. Okay, so did everybody get the joke? How about a different joke? What do you get when you cross an owl with a bungee cord? My ass. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? It's dead, that's what it is. Ah. And one, two, three. Oh, um, out. Can't do any more warps. No, block, no! Ugh. All right, I'm out. Ow! God dang it! Still used to block. Aha! I blocked you this time. All right, new weapon. There we go. Can't. No. Oh, that one's dead already. Let's go for that one. Ooh! Man, that was a good warp strike. That almost took him out. What? Two more? That one's done. Come on! There we go. Uh, hello? Apparently you can charge your swing. I had no idea. Alright, I'm just gonna duck behind here. You guys can take care of it. I know you're good. I'm just gonna enjoy. Hmm. Looks like you guys did pretty good. Hey, who's out there? Apparently I found him. Well, and look who's in here. The man of the hour. Dave, right? Been looking for you. Didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble. I've been stuck here on account of my sprained ankle. Really? You can't so move because you have a sprained bars. ankle? I gave him hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. Well, y'all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me? Really? You couldn't move because of a sprained ankle? I'll do it for free. You know what? I probably have all the money in the world. I am a prince after all. Oh, yeah. Plus, I'll probably we'll end up getting the reward it. anyway. Might as well get the brownie points. Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw them. I got a magic flask. Way to show some spunk. Now let's get ready to kick some tail. I earned 30 XP, alright. The Mutant Marauder, locate the target. Let's go. Point twenty two miles. Oi. Hey, am I it? It would be wise to rest up before we set out. A formidable foe awaits. Prepare for this encounter by resting at a nearby haven. Ignis will cook a status boosting meal for the party. Yeah, why not? That sounds like a good idea. In that case. Let's find a spot to make camp. The hunters are really out in full force around here, huh? Alright, let's go this way. So they're the new Crowns Guard or something? Similar, though technically a civilian outfit. They've definitely seen a lot more action than we have. Uh, is it cool that we rock Crowns Guard outfits? Be worse not to. They made them especially for us. Even got a sweet insignia on it. Oh man, it's over. I was enjoying this one so much. I might actually play this one all the way through. Game Informer gave Final Fantasy 15 an 8.5 out of 10. GameSpot gave it an 8 out of 10, and GameFAQs gave it a 4.31 out of 5. It should take about 65.2 hours to complete. As of right now, there is not a speed run. However, I do think that there will be one shortly. Right now on Amazon, you can get Final Fantasy XV used for $47.99. That is just for the disc. If you'd like to get it new, you can get it for $52.99 plus dollars 99 for shipping for a grand total of $56.98. If you're really looking forward to this game, maybe you should look into investing into the Special Edition. The Special Edition used is $103.24 plus $5.99 for shipping for a grand total of $109.23. However, you can get it brand new for $89.99 plus $3.99 for shipping for a grand total of $93.98. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Don't forget to tell your friends and subscribe for more episodes. But I'd like to know after this, will you give Final Fantasy XV a try or are you going to let it slip right by? Do you have a favorite game you think should get more attention? Let me know in the comments down below. 
Thank you very much for watching. And I haven't been out of this room in three days, so I've got some dishes to do. Have fun playing.